All right, so uh, we're doing another vlog today, but today's a little bit different. Um, I'm going ice fishing again today. Uh, it's my first time this week going ice fishing. I took a few days off because I did five days in a row last week and it was a lot. But before I go ice fishing, um, I gotta do something really cool and really special. And uh, I wanna share it with you guys, hoping to inspire people and to let you guys know that it's really easy to change someone's day or impact their life. So as you guys know, you guys who follow me know that I love doing pay it forward stuff. I love doing community stuff. Um, I do hundreds of pay it forward things and cool little things for people that I don't usually share or film or anything. Uh, but since I'm vlogging today, ice fishing, I'm gonna vlog this too. So before we go ice fishing, I'm gonna go to the store and I'm doing something cool. Uh, everywhere in the country, everyone has these area Facebook groups. Like, uh, there's like, uh, you know, in my area, I'm, I'm a part of like five different area groups. Uh, there's one called Highland Matters, White Lake Matters, uh, Waterford Matters, like every area in my area. Uh, so on one of those groups, I saw someone post uh, the other day that they were looking for, uh, I forgot how she worded it, and uh, I'm not going to use her name or anything, obviously, but she worded it like uh, she was looking for like a food pantry or looking for somewhere that she could pick up some canned food or something in her church uh, because she needed some help. She was on some tough times, and uh, she didn't have any food. And uh, whenever I see posts like this, uh, I try to do my best. And, and you guys might remember I did a post about this uh, earlier in the year where someone was looking for baby formula, and I met him at the store uh, and bought him anything he wanted and for his baby. and set him on his way uh, because it's just it's really easy to help people like that and uh, you know I don't have a whole lot of money I don't have a whole lot of extra funds right now uh, or ever really but uh, I saw this post and I was like you know what I think I can help a little bit at least so I, I offered to take her to the store and take her grocery shopping uh, unfortunately she said she's a little bit under the weather so she didn't want to meet anywhere which is great totally fine I respect that so I offered to go shopping for her so that's what I'm gonna do today um, before I go ice fishing I am going to go to the store, go to the grocery store. I'm gonna stock up. She gave me a list of some essential things, but we're gonna go a little bit over that because she asked for the basics, which is awesome. I, I respect that. Uh, she asked for like bottled water, some meat, potatoes, uh, noodles, and that's pretty much it. She said the water at the place she's staying at right now is not really safe to drink, so they have to use bottled water. Uh, she lives in a very low income housing area, not too far from me. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping and I'm gonna see, uh, I'm gonna see how much I can do. I wish I had a bigger budget, but uh, all this stuff comes out of my pocket every day. Yesterday, we just spent like 40 bucks at a drive through paying for people too. Uh, so don't have a whole lot of funds. But either way, I'm gonna make this really special. Go shopping, get her everything she needs, get her some extra stuff. Uh, I'm probably gonna get a gift card for the grocery store for her too, so that way she can pick out some other stuff. And then I'm gonna go drop it off at her door and then go ice fishing. So this could be like a two part vlog today. So stay tuned guys, let's go. So she sent me a list of some things that she needed. Um, like I said, they were just like bare essentials, but I'm gonna add some stuff to that list. And uh, she said potatoes, noodles, meats, like the basic stuff. But uh, we're gonna add some extra stuff in there. So we got some vegetables here. We got big bag of potatoes here, should last a while. Uh, we'll grab some of these uh, salad kits right here. Uh, we'll do... These are four servings each, it looks like, so we'll do a couple of those. And we'll keep shopping. Let's see if we can, uh, how much stuff we can add up in here real quick before we go ice fishing. Sorry. That's a lot of chicken. So we'll just grab a... Uh, We'll grab in large portions of stuff here, so a lot of potatoes right here, lots of chicken breasts here, lots of beef, things that will last a long time, and then uh, she can individually bag them. I'll even get some Ziploc bags, some freezer bags for her too. That way she'll be able to freeze stuff, put it in separate bags. Uh, kind of what I usually do too, is I'll portion things out and freeze them. Let's do some, uh, let's do some hot dogs. Do some hot dogs too. 
So I don't know how much room. I don't know how much room she has. I'll just do one pack of hot dogs here. I don't know how much room she has in her fridge or freezer, so I don't want to like overdo it too much and then have her not have room. This is gold right here. Let's do some uh, some Chef Boyardee stuff here. We'll do some of these. We'll do... We'll do some of these. Some, some green beans. We'll do some corn. Canned goods are always good because they last like forever. All right. And then she did say that she needed some noodles too, but she didn't say what kind and I didn't ask. So we're just gonna do uh, We're just gonna do some random noodles here. So we'll do some elbows. Those are good. We'll do some spaghetti. You know what, let's grab two of these because everyone, everyone likes spaghetti, right? You know what, how about some mac and cheese? Everyone likes mac and cheese, right? All right. So I think we got more than everything that we needed. Uh, it's probably got more than I expected to get to. There's a whole uh, whole lot of stuff here. But uh, this could be great. I'm really excited to, uh, I probably won't be able to see her reaction because she's not feeling well. So I'm just gonna set it all at her door. But I'm sure she'll message me and I'm really excited to see, uh, see if it makes her really happy. I'm hoping that it uh, restores faith in humanity, lets you know that people are out there that uh, actually care about people and want to make sure people are okay and uh, that's what I'm hoping to accomplish I'm hoping that uh, restores faith in people so let's go check out and get all the stuff loaded up in the truck and then we'll go ice fishing all right we got more than enough of the groceries and I uh, even added a gift card for her just in case there's something I missed or in case she needed something that uh, that she thinks of in a couple days so I got her gift card to the grocery store and uh, whole lot of groceries so I hope she has room for it all but let's get it loaded up in the truck and uh, go surprise her let's go I'm really excited about this I always get nervous when I do pay it forward so like I get like anxious it's weird um, but it's, it's hard you know doing doing good things for people is awesome but doing good things for strangers makes me nervous all the time because people are always so skeptical of things and People are always so like hesitant to accept help. Um, but I don't look at this as, as help. I look at this as just doing a favor for someone that's down in a, in a tough spot and uh, we all get in those spots. I get in those spots plenty of times. Um, it happens, but you know, I quit my job six years ago to do what I love for a living and I didn't do it for money. I left a good paying job with stability to be happy. And uh, I've kind of stuck true to my word with money not being an important thing in my life. Uh, as long as I can get by and, and live the way I need to live, then I feel like giving is better than saving. And that was the smartest financial advice in the world, but uh, you know, I chose happiness six years ago and I'm gonna follow that path for the rest of my life. So let's go surprise someone and uh, I'm excited. I don't know if they're gonna meet me outside. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog that part or not because I don't really wanna show anybody's faces or anything like that. I don't wanna, you know, I'm not trying to promote uh, doing something for someone specifically. I'm trying to promote the fact that there's good people in the world still and uh, we can do some cool stuff. And it only took uh, it only took an hour of my time. So it's not even that big of a deal. 
So, all right, let's go. All right, so this is the spot over here. So uh, it's gotta find the, the right one and drop off some groceries and then we get to go ice fishing. All right, so I got all the groceries in front of the door right there. And uh, they'll come out and grab them. And uh, I just called her on uh, Facebook Messenger to let her know it was all outside. And there's a gift card inside of uh, one of the grocery bags for 20 bucks extra too. So uh, hopefully that helps out. Uh, but now we're going ice fishing. So uh, I gotta get out of here. This is a weird intersection. Let me turn this way. So uh, hope that helps out a lot. It sounded like she wasn't feeling too well on the phone anyway. But uh, like I said, if I missed anything, I added a gift card in there just in case. But man, that was a lot of stuff. I was actually shocked. That was, uh, I got a lot of stuff for not as much as I expected to spend. We got like a huge thing of chicken breast, a huge thing of beef, a huge bunch of noodles, a bunch of pasta, a bunch of soups. Uh, I mean, vegetables, like a huge bag, the biggest bag of potatoes they had there. Uh, that should be good for quite a while. It's awesome. So, all right, now we're gonna go, uh, I gotta go to the bait shop. I gotta get some bait fish. And then uh, I gotta switch into my ice gear. It's in the back seat here, and then go meet somebody to go ice fishing in about a half hour here. So hopefully we get some really good fish today. Uh, we're filming an episode this Friday. Uh, we're filming our, our one ice fishing episode of the year this Friday. So I'm really hoping that today goes well because today is like my practice pre-fishing day. But all right, I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, going to the bait shop, getting some live bait. Just met up with my buddy Dwayne over where you at, right there, and uh, get some live bait for some tip ups. Let's go. All right, so we just got to the fishing spot, got the sled loaded up. You ready to go fishing, Dwayne? Absolutely. All right, we're going to go hit the spot over here. This is where I'm going to be filming in uh, two days here for the episode. So we're going to pre-fish, set up some tip-ups, and see how we do today. So let's get, the, uh, let's get the sled going. And let's go get some fish. Dwayne's got his electric a little bit smoother than my gas one. So we're going to put the first hole right here for tip-ups. That was a pre-drilled hole. Let's yeah. do a real one. Yeah, that was a pre-drill. All right, here's an actual hole from scratch. Okay, here we go. All right, that was still incredible. Like, you know, that's, that's... And I didn't have to start it? That's faster than me starting mine. Noise. Yeah, that's that's faster than me just starting my gas auger. That's crazy. Where's the Jeez. other tip of go? Uh, over here. We had really good luck on this tip up over here too. That's where that bigger one's been coming from. See the little spot right there? See where the snow is? Oh, yeah, the little volcano. Yeah, I say it looks like a volcano. Mount Mount Pike Helens. <laughs> is that what you call that? I'll just make a new one next to it. Look at that. So Looks like I need a right I need an electric auger next year. What? You wanna learn something? Let me learn something. You wanna catch more fish on your tip ups or catch pike jigging. What I do is I'll take and go out about 15, 20 feet, four directions from where my tip up is, and go through with like a Lindy Darter or a um, live target golden shiner and give it a few rips, make some noise, five minutes per hole, keep on moving. And if they don't bite that, they'll come and bite your tip up almost every time. So draw them into the hole. That's the point. When they see, when see the live bait over there, then they're gonna they're gonna grab it. So let's go drill a hole over here. You know what? I'm gonna have Dwayne bring his electric over here and drill holes because my gas one takes a few minutes just to start and warm up. And it sounds like a dirt bike. So let's head back over. And uh, let's get some gear ready. Hey guys, all right, so we're out here on the ice and now we're gonna go ice fishing. So we got our bait, we got our augers ready. We're putting some tip ups up right now. And uh, now we're gonna catch some fish to the ice. Let's go. All right, so I'll turn on the aerator. Get the bubbles going right here in the hole. And then I'll keep it from freezing. And then uh, I'll even turn this light on right here, even though it's daytime out, but that way when this goes off, that lights up, see? That way we can have a secondary thing. But we'll get the hook out of here. 
grab a. Oh, not that, not that big one. We don't need that big one. This one right here is going on there, right there. All right, let's get it set up. All right, so I got that drop down where I want to go. And if you want to see uh, me put this hook right here through my finger really bad, uh, go back to my previous video, like two videos ago, and you'll be able to see me put that tip up through my finger. But uh, now we'll get this set up. There we go. Got the flag down. Everything's ready to go. Now we just wait for the pike to come grab it. Main hole right here going. Got my chair set up. I got my... Uh, my scales beta tracked it uh, right here this has like a, a shimmer to it so it looks like scales falling off of your bait which is cool and uh i got my rod ready to go here so we got tip-ups going everywhere out here and it's time to catch some fish let's go all right first drop in the hole right here i think the last time you saw me open this box i had uh about nine rods crammed in it now there's only four All right, first drop down. Let's see how long it takes for the first bite. Ooh, that was the first bite. Shit, I got a flag up already, dude. All right, I lost the, my bait, but we got a flag up on a tip up. So we gotta run. False flag or is it good? No, there's nothing there. False flag, all right. Took a lot of line out though. So something grabbed it. He was on the move. Jeez. Something probably grabbed it and ran. See how toothy it is. I took it in the weeds. Oh, all right, false flag. I'm gonna go back to catching fish because I had uh, something take my bait already over there. Are you kidding me? Here. All right, so we're gonna drop down in the hole here. Okay. See if we can get our first pan fish of the day right here. So I let it hit the bottom, pull it up just off the bottom, give it a good bounce, some wiggles. Make sure the fish can see it. If you don't get a bite right away, I always say change the level. If you're not getting a bite right away at the level you're at, drop it down a little bit more, raise it up a little bit more, just change the level it's at, and it makes all the difference. Here we go, here we go. Here comes Look at that, dude, that, that is a beast. That well, is too. Didn't catch those big ones out here. Look at the size of that one. That's a beaut, that's probably the big fish of the day. Look at the size of that. Look at that. First fish of the day. First fish of the day. And it is a beauty. Look at the size of that gill. Look at that. Beautiful. Man. Not bad to start of the day at all. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we're back in a little bay on a lake right now. It's a pretty good sized lake, but this little bay back here is just perfect fishery. So I want the bait hit the bottom. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit, give it a couple pops. And here we go, here we go, that's a good one. That's a good fighter. Oh geez, that's a big bass. That's a big bass. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at that on a little tungsten, a little tungsten ice jig. Look at that. Who would have thought we're pulling out a bass squatch out here? Look at that. <laughs> Dude, on a little tungsten ice jig. <laughs> that was funny. I was like, this feels, this, this thing feels heavy. <laughs> that is so awesome. Yes. 
That is incredible. That is so cool. That is so cool. Did not expect that to happen at all. We had a flag out and Dwayne got over to it before me. Let's see what we got over here. There we go. There we go. I broke the seal a little pike though. Not bad at all. Here, let's let's make him look 40. <laughs> let's not get hooks in my finger. Yeah, don't hook yourself, it's not fun. I know, I've seen your escapades with it already. Yeah. It's a nice little pike though, man. He thought he was a lot bigger than that. He was like really fighting. I have never had a little one like this fight like that. Oh, they thrash, dude. Yeah, like, it was like a catfish. All right, let's get some more fish, let's go. So I'm three for three in this hole right now. Uh, all three times I've dropped a bait down, I've caught a, a eight and a half inch bluegill, uh, caught like a five inch bluegill. And that monster bass was super cool. And then uh, we've got a pike on a tip up over there. And we've only been out here for like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so we've been fishing. Not a bad day on the ice, right? Not a bad day at all. So same thing here. I'm dropping this bad boy down. Let it hit the bottom. Pull it up about six to eight inches off the bottom. Give it a couple of wiggles. And then you wait. And then they hit. And like I always say, if they don't hit within a, like a 30 seconds, seriously, then I change levels. Oh, here we go. That was a good hit too. That was a good hit. He hit that one hard. That's a nice size gill too. I mean, that bass was nicer, but I'm not gonna complain about a nice fat bluegill either. That's a beautiful fish. That's pretty. Watch that rod tip right here. Watch that thing dive down. Here we go. Ooh, look at the size of that one. Oh, look at the size of that one, it's even bigger. That's even bigger than the last one. Look at that. Look at the size of that one. It's huge. There's some monster gills out of here today. It's a beautiful day for fishing. The sun's out. Great day out here. Check that out. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes. Oh, it's a good bass. Oh, it's a good bass. It's a really nice bass with the tip up right here. It's feisty. He's angry. Yeah, it's a good bass though. Not bad at all. So we'll let him go, reset the tip up up, and see if we can get some big pike that were attacking this thing. It looks like on the side right there, some nice teeth marks on a it. Nice big chunk right out of him. So we'll reset up the tip ups, see if we can get those pike. Now you should play down in a hole. <laughs> down in a hole. <laughs> that whole time live, and you didn't catch any fish. And then I came over there and googled your hole. Yeah, you did. And caught one right away. I was happy. All right, Dwayne got another one too. He's a giant. Yeah, and beautiful though, man. The coloring is gorgeous. How many fish is that for you now? Uh, four. Not bad. Three. Some gills, got a pike. Ah, another tip up. Can I pull it? Game, gotta wait. He's on there. Nope. I love running for false flags. It gets your heart going at least. All right, back to some pan fish for a little bit till another one goes off. Let's go. I got another gill right here. Back on him again, look at that. Dwayne's got a tip up off, but it's the same tip up that's gone off on accident like three times. So I didn't run over there. So I hope he didn't get a pike. Is it empty? Yeah, there's no fish on it, all right. It's been a false flag three times over there, so I don't want to run over there again and be out of breath. So I was waiting to see how he reacted. <laughs> all right, so about six inches off the bottom. Give it a little dance so the fish know it's there. Little dance, 
And then you reel up the fish like this one right here. Or like this one right here. No, nope, mine's better. Totally beat ya. Oh yeah, yours is bigger. Cheers. Cheers. Well, it's like, I'm not bringing you to film anymore. <laughs> Dude, it works, man. As long as it's fish, man. It's fish. I'll throw mine in your hole for good luck. And I'll throw yours in my hole. <laughs> oh, fish. Ow. Oh, here we go. Double up again. Look at that. Look at this I think I think he got the bigger one again. I think he got the bigger one again. I think uh, I think my hands are like the size of Andre the Giants too. Probably wear like a size quadruple X gloves. There we go. That's really a, a like a ten inch bluegill. Yeah, these are both like super dinks. <laughs> that is a good one. Oh, that's well, a better size not, one. Not great, but it's decent. No, that's a better size one. Hold that one up for the GoPro, man. That's a good, better one. Pretty little devil. Yeah, that one's better. Am I on there? I can't see the screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is what we do while we're waiting for tip-ups to go off. So we're just kind of flag watching at this point, and while we're waiting for flags, we're just dipping and pulling out bluegill. And occasionally, Mike runs around on the ice like Daffy Duck. Yeah. <laughs> It's better when there's no snow because then you can like hit your knees and slide like 20 feet into the tip up. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. That's a nice Look one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he choked that jig too. That's eight inches all day. That's what she said. I don't think that's what she said. I mean, that's what I told her to say. Size of that one. It's a good size gill right there. It's one of the bigger ones of the day. It's a good eater. Not bad at all. That'd be a butte for the frying pan. So I take my grinder and I grind these teeth off. Oh, do you? Yeah, because I can't see them. They get stuck and I'm like, ah, and I'm always in a hurry and I'm trying to one hand a fish and... They don't bother me. I use them for all... Yeah, I knew that was why I wasn't getting a bite again. It took all my meat off of my hook. Yeah, usually if the bite stops, here. I got, I got, I like these spikes better. Usually if the bite stops, it's because there's no bait. That's the only reason why the bite stops. That one hit hard. Look at that one too. It's another good sized gill. Some big ones today. It's a, nice, a female. Do you know how to tell the difference? No. How do you tell it's a female? Because it's big? Nope. Because it's angry? Nope. Because it's grumpy? Ear flap. Look at the ear flap. If that was a male, it would be twice that size. So the women have smaller ears so they don't listen as well. Got it. 100% true. So here's the... Uh, Here's another big gill right here. I've had a lot of these today. This is probably about a good eight incher again. Um, these are awesome though. Oh, Dwayne's on another one. Oh, look at that. Now you got the little one. Quick release. Now you got the tiny one and I got the big one. Here, story of my life. Look at that. It's a great day of fishing. So let's keep on watching for some flags. I want to tip up again. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this one. This is the biggest one That's I've had time. all season right here. Look at that. Look how fat that gill is. Oh boy, that is definitely oh, the, that's, a beast. that's the fattest one I've had all season. Look at this, let me get a better angle on this one. Look at that, hold on, where's the sun? Oh, you're standing it, look at that. Look at my hands all the way around it, fully extended around it. That is a monster, look at it next to my head. That thing is huge, huge. It's awesome, let's measure it up. Eight and a half. It's just tall. It's, yeah, it is it's, tall. That's a nice. That's that. a nice fish. It's thick too. Look at it. It's about an inch thick. Whoa! <laughs> All right. That's a nice one, bro. Nice. All right. Tip up one off. Look at... I'm gonna go grab the pliers real quick. All right. Tip up one off. Dwayne's already over there. Looks like he caught a little pike, not a big one. There's a little one over here. All right, what do we got? Smaller than the last one. Yeah. He's no uh. fighter though. Another pike? Just a little guy. I'm just a little feller. I sure do like catching them right in the corner like that though. That's a good fish, man. A little snot rocket. Yeah, let's get another picture too.
Oh, there we go, another pike. Down the hole. Get a cool shot to show people how fast this, this hole has been working over here. Let it hit the bottom, pull it up just off the bottom. Ooh, that was it. They've been hitting so fast out here. Later in the day like this, it's just perfect, perfect time of the day. Here we go. Oh, it's a good one too. Here we go. It's important to let him take it and then set the hook. There you go. You wait for that double tap. Yep, it's a nice gill right there though. Yep, right. Not bad. Down in the hole. Another good one. Ow, he poked me. I got a little one. He poked me. You like to shed blood, you're getting to be like Coyote Peterson. Next thing you know, he's gonna be oh, I didn't mean to let him go yet. I was trying to rinse him off. Next thing you know, but yeah, he poked me in my thumb good on that one too. He's out here sticking himself with bull head spikes and mad tongs and everything uh, else to see what the effect That's a, it's a beautiful. It's a, it's a female pumpkin seed. Female pumpkin seeds always look weird. Look at that. Look how beautiful the coloring is. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. All right, he's got another double up too. Check us out. There's mine. What do you got? Oh, oh, uh, his, his uh, is gone. That one is gone. Eleven inch bluegill. We're gonna yeah. fish until we catch one of those. Yeah, Dwayne's out here pulling out dinks over here, talking trash. I'm gonna do one more fish, no matter what size it is. One more fish, then we're gonna wrap up. I'm gonna throw all the dinks in your hole so that you catch those instead. Dude, literally, <laughs> literally smallest fish of the day. And it shrank. Smallest fish of the day. Look at that. That I, is hilarious. I threw that fish in your hole and it shrank. All right, I'm not ending on that note. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna pull out a nine inch right now. That is embarrassing. You want to kick the garbage can, Mike? <laughs> it's taking longer, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Tip up. <laughs> Oh, it's running. It's running. Look at it running. Oh, it came off. It Ooh, came off. Loser. Oh. Loser. But That's it, what it looks like when you fail. Hey, but you know what though? Something was on it. It was running. Yeah, it was. I saw it spinning. Look at that, I told you they were I'll thumping. I'll take that for my last fish. That's a good one too. Look at that. Slab daddy. I told you they were thumping. I knew they were crappie. I knew it. All right. All right, we're gonna load everything up now. Uh, getting it back in the truck, it's freezing out. That sun went down and it dropped a lot. So we're gonna get all of our stuff loaded up. Uh, I'll be out here filming in two days for an episode of the show, so I think we're ready to go after practicing today. We'll get all the tip-ups put together, load up our sleds. What do you think, man? Do you have fun today? Absolutely. How many fish do we get today? You think total, like 50? Yeah, at least that. Got some bass, got some pike, got some gills, got a couple different species of gills. Had an awesome time. So thank you guys for watching the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it, the, the, the early part of the vlog and the fishing part of the vlog. Uh, but stay tuned for more stuff. I'll be out here again in two more days filming an episode. So I'll do some behind the scenes stuff of how we filmed the episode on the ice. We're gonna be filming with uh, US National Championship Vigor Skaters. So it's gonna be super cool and different. Uh, but either way, thanks for watching. Subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook too. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you and bye.